My name's Spencer Frost. I'm a cinematographer and director from Sydney, Australia, with a love for adventure, travel, and surfing. And on this project, we got to combine all three. The goal of this film wasn't just to push the limits of surfing and adventure, but also push the limits of how a surf film can be captured. Between multiple cinema cameras, gimbals, drones, underwater housings, helicopters, boats, and snowmobiles, this trip had it all. What started out as a dream soon became a reality. What if it was possible to find waves in a place that no one surfed before? I don't think we had any idea of what we were getting ourselves into or how hard achieving that dream would be. Let's go, baby. Load it up. Let's go. On the snowmobile. Let's go. Danny, Fuck. what do you reckon? Three floats. Holy crap! <laughs> All around. That's when you know it's cold. So the boys are surfing. We're at this kind of like ice covered beach and we were getting some shots on the gimbal and the red, but we thought it might be pretty crazy to drive the snowmobile with master driver art and track kind of with the icebergs in the foreground and then get the boys on a wave surfing. So a lot has to come together, but if we can pull that off, I think it'll be a pretty sick shot. And we've got all the toys and gonna give it a go. Looking good. Always loving it. Here. It's kind of pretty big swell, offshore winds. We know the coastline has like hundreds of setups. We've got the heli. We're going to kind of just do a flyover. Hopefully find a zone that could be good. It might be just a ride off and we might kind of head back to camp. But I don't know. We've got high hopes. The boys are stinging to surf and... I really believe that this coast has some crazy setups. So if we can score something, then yeah, fingers crossed. Back in the chopper? Back in the chopper. <laughs> packing up, putting They're the packing boat. a boat in there currently. And all of our tents, camping gear, 12 surfboards, all of Spenny's cameras, all of Funk's cameras, and another photographer.
like a eight foot left slab. We've got a couple of keen surfers, I reckon. Well first out here, Anton. Yeah. Setting up the housing for the red, long lens for the red. Just dialing everything in. What do you reckon, Mish? Crazy set up for crazy mission. Pretty crazy waves. Boy's got a few. Didn't make too many, but pretty cool. Cool to see in Russia. Took the helicopter to the beach. Brought the boat in the helicopter. Took it out to the bomby. So sick. Five star accommodation. Yeah, we're on our own now. The storm's filling in now, so we're just bunkering everything down. Hopefully that passes and then we'll score some waves tomorrow. The wind will be from <laughs> east, from yeah. the ocean, so like we wow, prepared just, everything, like all all the tents are fixed, and uh, yeah, we just need to check all the stuff outside, you know, to put it inside. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, it will be some more snow and it will be strong winds. But we're ready. How's the tents, man? So wild. But like all my camera gear, all the survival gear. It's just been flunned. It's been shredded. Look Holy at that panel. It's like like destroyed. That is actually pretty crazy. What do you reckon? Pretty gnarly. How's when the gusts go? Like, just trying to find all our camera gear that's just been like blown all over the beach <laughs> and crushed and in the tent. Trying to condense it into our little tents, probably have to like, kind of like snuggle a few cameras because our gear tent got blown away. I don't really know where all my stuff is. It's dark now and it's windy and cold, and I'm a bit over it. <laughs> Putting in the peg. I think the boys are gonna be in for a bit of a treat. They've never really been in weather like this and they've definitely not camped in weather like this. So yeah, it's gonna be a restless night for everyone. But it's all part of it. Slept through the storm, bunkered down for the night and we've woken up and it's eight o'clock, still dark, but looks pretty clear. The storm's clearing, the wind's kind of swung. 
and yeah we're just kind of back in the skidoo snowmobile for snow and everything yeah load this up with as much camera gear and surfboards as we can and hopefully score today And there's like a four foot right point break that looks like the boy's dream wave. It's gonna be so good. We've just been filming for four days, non-stop. We've got no power, can't charge batteries, can't do data. So every time we get an opportunity to get back to base camp, this is what my room looks like. I've got to charge up about 40 batteries. I've got to put probably a few terabytes, probably 10 different cards onto the hard drives. And then a little reset on all the gear and then get prepped and do it all again. Right. Maybe when we give you the thumbs up, then you can get up onto the, the you reckon pond? No. Nah. Can't take off too cold. What a joke. Nah. How long you need guy? If everything works one minute, but the rate I'm going today. That's gonna look sick. It's not good. <laughs> it's so cold. Minus degrees, snow on the beach. I can't even feel my hands. Like just it's like ice blocks. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
look at the chopper with our boards. Yep. You guys are going to have our boards. So We're going to take everything gonna 10 meters away. You guys are going to yep. be ducking. We're going to give the signal. The chopper's going to take off. Take off. And then we're going to stand up. And then you're going to stand up go, and then stand on the peak with your boards. Just, we'll just be yelling, but just do whatever you think is looking. So we'll just be like standing like this. Yeah. Yeah. Max, can you jump back a sec? Yeah. Coming from right side again? Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Crazy Is that shit. Crazy and stressful. Crazy and stressful. Definitely up there with one of the best days of my life. But also, such a mission. Everything is just so hard. We're all like so beaten and bashed and tired. I think all of us are just like proper on our last legs. And then you, you, you have a day like today where you experience things that you'll never experience again in your life and you will remember those moments for the, your whole life. And yeah, that, it just really makes it, makes it feel like it was worth it.